请到的是洛桑管理学院的讲座教授于浩。Make certain I organization have staying power versus those who do not, and one key element we have discovered, which shouldn't be too surprising, is each of these companies essentially have cracked the perform and transform paradox. Meaning, most organization we have seen, they are very good in doing either or. You know, when time is good, they invest more in the future. Doing more transformative initiative. When time is bad, they swing back to the perform side, delivering today, satisfying the stakeholders' demand. So you think about what is future readiness. You kind of perform and deliver near-term result. Meanwhile, you continue to build the next growth engine to drive new revenue stream. Nike. Actually, top the list, and the reason they were doing relatively stronger than the peer group is because they have invested ahead of time in capabilities such as e-commerce. They do not let their old business die. In fact, their old business still thriving. So the key principle here is is not just knowing what is truly required. Of course, that is the prerequisite. But in order to scale up your next growth engine. Oftentimes, you would running into trade off. These functional head or divisional head need to put aside the silo interest, but think about the corporate goal first, so that the trade off that as an organization are able to make collectively will add up and ultimately result in good development of capabilities. If you're looking at L'Oreal, for one instance, is again, it's not just scaling up their global operation in manufacturing color cosmetic. The secret sauce is they were able to scale up one technology after the next worldwide. Almost fifteen years ago, they noticed this augmented reality app, which sits on your mobile phone and let you try it on. It's almost like Snapchat sort of lens that you could have, and over time. What Loria have noticed is that consumer find that engagement really powerful. The conversion of sales can actually increase by three times from very quickly from just trying things on lens, almost like a filter. They move into skin consult by AI to looking at your skin composition, feature uniqueness, and recommend what kind of skincare product best for you. What kind of business we're in. Are we in the business of simply providing color cosmetic, or we are in the business quite differently? Is in the creation of beauty. Now that description of what business we are in is super critical, because that would dictate whether organization have the courage to scale these new capabilities, or they simply seeing if something doesn't have immediate payback. Tesla, in our calculation, still top number one, but with a huge risk these days. The sort of historic unparalleled advantage for Tesla, essentially over, is not just BYD is closing in, but about to see is whether it's VW all the way to Ford, they are waking up to the industry dynamic, and this is the cautionary tale. Just because you're top of the industry, if you don't keep on advancing. Eventually, someone else would catch up. Between perform and transform, we quickly saw two principles of what makes organization future ready. Top management team needs to have shared viewpoint so that things would add up as trade off. And second is challenge the industry boundary so that you could continue to scale those capabilities rather than just relying on near term financial measurement. And the last, future readiness, of course. Is a work in progress. 